16th of October, 9.41 in the morning. Um, so we've got the, uh, the live market at the moment and, uh, and as usual we're looking at November 2015 UK week chart and uh, we've got the monthly ch bar chart in front of us. We'll pop down the lower time frame chart and we'll have a look at the um, weekly chart and you can see here that we've had this uh, green candle first week in October. Unfortunately we've now got this negative candle here that's come back and test this low here. You can see here this low that I was talking about in February 115. Um, obviously we'd not like to see that broken. If we break that then obviously it looks as though this move has sort of come to an abrupt end before we really got started. But let's go down to the daily and have a look. And you can see here this, this is daily with um, adding indicators on. You can see here that obviously we had this big negative candle here. Uh, start of October we've then had this recovery and obviously we failed yesterday and I mean, uh, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, and obviously we're opening here at 1490. Um, support here comes in just above the 15 mark, uh, and obviously that's what we look to hold. But you can already start to see that we're now looking as though we're getting into a sideways sort of trending market rather than uh, the upwards trend that we're looking for. Uh, but obviously we just go down and have a look at the uh, chart with indicators on. You can see here that we've broken above the six day moving average. So the 60 day cycle has sort of come to a, an end, uh, the falling one. It obviously we, we were looking for uh, momentum to get going. Obviously we had a 10 and 30 cross and then obviously the 10 cross the 60 day moving average. Um, the RSI is showing that we are losing strength and obviously if we do get a close lower today and we drop below the RSI 6, uh, 50 then obviously it indicates that we have lost strength of this move. And being a three move we should see that this had had taken out this high here so at the moment um, it looks as though we're on a negative stance at the present moment obviously uh, until we get to the end of October we could see a reversal um, the last four years have been a bullish October but obviously it doesn't look that way at the moment um, just coming down and finishing on the uh, uh, this is the US wheat market and you can see that the same same uh, rise we had on the US market here and it's now fallen back into this sort of sideways action above the $5 mark. Uh, but obviously um, crucial close tonight if we can close above the 15 uh, obviously keep an eye on that and then obviously see the uh, what happens early part of next week. And I'll update this down next week. Thanks for watching.